Um, this is a documentary that I've been looking forward to since it was announced a little while a while back, and then a trailer came out, and the fact that Lawrence Kasdan was directing it, sorry for that crack in my throat, uh, Lawrence Kasdan, you know, Ron Howard and Brian Grazer were involved in executive producing this docu-series. And, cause, I mean, who wouldn't be interested in watching a docu uh, I think six episodes? Six episode docu-series on light and magic, industrial light and magic. I mean, you must be living under a rock if you don't know who they are. You know, they're the people who create the special effects. You know, for Star Wars being number one, I think they worked on Star Trek. Or no, I think it was the one guy who used to be with them. They worked on Battlestar Galactica, and then they worked on the original one. They worked on a lot of Spielberg movies like E.T., I think Close Encounters. Um, they worked on Ghostbusters. They've worked on... They worked on Barry Jenkins' Underground Railroad series. Uh, they've worked on so many great things. Um, I They did work on the Indian, Indiana Jones movies. So much great stuff because they're the GOATs. George, George Lucas talks about he wanted to make Star Wars and that there were no good VFX companies that could really do the effects he wanted. So what did he do? He started his own. He found these guys in college or that were already in the business. They all came together and they made effects that look better than CGI. Like most of the effects we see in Star Wars, like honestly, I would rather see stop motion effects than what we see in a lot of movies. Because the way those stop motion looked in those movies, sorry I have an itch on my leg, Ooh, mosquito bite probably. Uh, a lot of the effects from back then are way better than we have now. I mean, look at She-Hulk for instance. The Hulk looks better in The Incredible Hulk, and then some of the movies, like event, the first a couple Avengers movies and whatever, now he looks like crap. She looks like crap. I mean, this is why, dude, Star Wars is the reason why I love practical effects. I prefer practical over CGI. The only time you should ever do CGI is if you can't do it practical. And just seeing, you know, seeing George Lucas talk, seeing a lot of the great geniuses like Joe Johnston and others who, you know, worked on those original films... And a lot of them who worked on the, the prequels and everything, seeing you know, you know Spielberg, Ron Howard, Zemeckis, sadly Kathleen Kennedy, you know Frank Marshall, uh, many people who directed, produced movies where these great geniuses did the the effects for. And man, it's just oh, oh yeah, Doug Chang, John Knoll, I think it's his name, Doug Chang, Doug Chang, yeah, but John Knoll as well. Uh, a lot of people who are there now. You had, yeah, it's so weird. You have the people who were there back then, and then you have the people who are who are there today who have been there since, like, maybe the prequels, like John Knoll and others. Um, I don't know if that was... I don't. Yeah, and then they worked on the Pirates movies as well, where John Knoll, of course, won an Oscar. I think it was for the second one, because of David, David Jones looked fantastic in that. Uh, a lot of the effects in the Pirates movies look great. I mean, the fifth one, I think they were a bit too much for some, but... But anyway, I just love this docu-series. Um, I added it to my watch list. I, I love it. I, I'm interested. I love that stuff, the behind the scenes. I mean, when I become a director one day, I want to make movies. I would love to work with ILM. That'd be great. Um, I want to do a lot of practical. If I ever do movies where there has to be CGI involved, I want that to be like 5%. I want the other 95% to be practical. But it was so good, just the history of how they started the company and then you know, where they went from there and how they're doing today. Of course, The Mandalorian and other great projects and stuff that maybe we don't want in Star Wars. But you know what? They do it anyway. But just everything they've worked on from first Star Wars movie to now. They are the goats when it comes to effects. And, well, I love this docuseries and I hope you check it out. See you next review, everyone.